Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our broadcast service of Night Prayer or Compline on Friday the 23rd of June 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our Curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England today we are asked to remember Ethel Drader, Abbess of Ely, 678. A few words. Ethel Drader, or Audrey, was born in Suffolk in the 7th century, a daughter of the king. She desired to commit her life to prayer and chastity and after two arranged and unconsummated marriages, founded a religious house at Ely for both men and women, over which she ruled as abbess. At her death on this day in 678, she was revered as a woman of austerity, prayer and prophecy. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 139, verses 1 to 18, is... Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. And if I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely, the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, 
when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may be on this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading is taken from the first, book of, uh, first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon, is our Gospel Canticle this evening. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious God, we thank you for this day that you have given us, for the tasks that we have been about in your holy name. We pray for all those who are afraid tonight, afraid of dark shadows, afraid of oppression, afraid of violence, afraid of health, and afraid of loneliness. Be with them, gracious God. Bring your grace and your loving to their hearts. Lord, in your gracious name, we pray this. Almighty God, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way your, of your Son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance, lead us to repent according to his preaching and after his example, constantly to speak the truth, boldly to rebuke vice and patiently to suffer for the for the truth's sake, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. 
Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service of night prayer and compline. My colleagues will be with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for a broadcast service of the Benefice morning prayer. And again at six o'clock for night prayer and compline. Have a safe and comfortable night. Good night.